السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It's good to have you here with us at Somaliland National Television. I'm Mohamed Adin here with the English news. Let's take a look at the main stories making headlines. Somaliland's House of Elders held a session to discuss foreign policy. Minister of Mining and Energy visits ongoing mining efforts in Si Modi. Athens erupts in riots over killing of a teenager by police six years ago. House of Elders held a session to discuss the government's foreign policy and achievements made by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The House of Elders held a session chaired by the Deputy Speaker of the House, Saeed Chama Ali, in which parliamentarians discussed ongoing achievements made regarding the country's foreign policy. House of Elders has been deliberating several bills recently, but today parliamentarians at the House have been discussing the foreign policy of Somaliland, talks between Somaliland and Somalia, as well as the international relations. Parliamentarians commended Minister of Foreign Affairs for the magnificent achievements made regarding the international relations and urged the Ministry to further efforts aimed at strengthening diplomatic ties with the neighboring nations as well as other countries around the world. Minister of Mining and Energy Hussein Abdi Doale, accompanied by several government officials, took a tour of several areas in Simodi, where initial mining efforts are ongoing. Minister of Mining and Energy Hussein Abdi Doale stated that a Chinese company has undertaken initial mining efforts in Si Modi to extract barrels for the first time. The minister added that almost 500,000 tons of barrel have been found in Si Modi during the exploration efforts which took place in recent months. The government gave permission to a Chinese mining company known as ARC to operate in the area and employ machines and other equipment to extract barrel. A representative speaking on behalf of ARC stated, New roads were built in the area where the residents welcomed due to the easy transport and links with other regions of Somaliland. The Chinese mining company pledged that mining efforts will soon launch and that more equipment will be employed after shipments from China. Other Kenyan government officials, including regional and district officials, spoke at the event and expressed admiration for the work the Chinese company is doing in the region. Minister of Aviation and Air Transport Mohamed Hashi Abdi informed about achievements made by the Ministerial Fire Department as Ministry purchased a number of new fire vehicles. Minister Mohamed Hashi Abdi stated that Ministry provided training for several firefighters and employed a number of vehicles purchased by the Ministry due to the necessity of firefighters for the security of the airport of Hargeisa. The Minister also reiterated that the Ministry has made achievements on a number of key issues and that the Gao International Airport made significant achievements due to more funds allocated by the government for the good of the airport. Firefighters of the Ministry of Aviation and Air Transport are always standing by and the airport security has been strengthened to an unprecedented level. The Gao International Airport has been made compliant to the international standard of airports due to subsequent renovations that increased the arrival of international airplanes from around the world. Minister of Youth, Sports and Tourism provided medals to youth who excelled in Olympic competitions held for several universities across Somalia. The minister speaking at the event stated that ministry is always ready to provide support and assistance in encouraging youth entertainment with regard to also other efforts aimed at stamping out to youth misdemeanors. Minister of Sports, Youth and Tourism also reiterated that Ministry continues to ensure more progress on a number of key areas and that Ministry engages youth in bolstering support for the security and development of Somaliland. Other esteemed guests at the event also highlighted the necessity of bolstering support for the youth entertainment. Finally, the Minister of Sports, Youth and Tourism provided medals to university students who excelled in recent Olympic competitions. Hargeisa's local government has stepped up efforts aimed at enhancing services of the municipality's fire department. Attendees included members of the local municipality, firefighters teams and traditional leaders, as well as officials of the firefighting department. The mayor of the capital city initially highlighted the progress of the firefighting department until this day reassuring that it has been developing to meet the needs of the nation and work on achieving a secure nation. 
Mayor Abdurrahman Solteco revealed the plans in the pipeline for the firefighting department, stating that the government of Somaliland is providing four new vehicles for the teams to help expand their areas of cover and to maintain a rapidity in reaching the targeted areas. He urged the residents of the capital city to pay attention to the necessity of evacuating the roads immediately whenever the firefighters are in duty helping save the lives of citizens. The mayor conclusively expressed his thankfulness to the president of Somaliland, who in collaboration with the Minister of Finance appointed an amount of 200,000 US dollars in the upcoming fiscal budget for the firefighting department to construct several stations and headquarters. Officials of the firefighting department alongside traditional leaders collectively praised the hard work of the firefighting teams operating in the capital city and urged them to continue the dedicated effort. Still watching the English news on Somaliland National Television. The first Somali speaking channel with an English news and now for the main international headlines in detail. Fierce clashes between police and protesters took place in Athens on Saturday on the anniversary of the killing of a teenager by police six years ago. Shops were set on fire and many others damaged. Over 100 people were arrested. The anniversary of the killing of Alexandros Grigoropoulos, who was 15 at the time, normally brings thousands of anti-state demonstrators onto the streets. But this year, tensions have been raised over a self-proclaimed anarchist who witnessed the killing in 2008 and is now on hunger strike over the Greek authorities' refusal to let him attend university classes. Nikos Romanos is currently serving a sentence for a robbery, but is now in hospital in a critical condition. Romanos, however, is reported to be insisting on attending classes in person. I won't back down, he said. Struggle until victory or struggle until death. Thousands of people marched through the streets of Mexico City on Saturday, calling for justice and for answers after the abduction and feared massacre of 43 students. On Saturday, officials announced that at least one of the students had been identified from charred remains found near a rubbish dump. Family members named him as Alexander Mora. Philippe de la Cruz, the father of another missing student and spokesperson for the families, told the crowds that we are not crying for Alexander. On the contrary, we know that his fall will result in the flower of revolution for a deep change in our country. The students went missing in the town of Iguala in September after they were fired on and detained by police while traveling home from a demonstration. The Mexican government says police handed them over to a drug gang on the orders of the local mayor who wanted to stop them disrupting a speech given by his wife. The couple are amongst more than 70 people who has since been arrested. Prosecutors say the gang killed them before burning their bodies at a rubbish dam near the town of Cacula and scattering their ashes in a river. An Argentine team of forensic experts working on behalf of the relatives said. That's it for this edition of the English News. Thank you for watching. You can catch us at the same time tomorrow. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.